let us continue with exercise 2c chapter 2 polynomial question number 8 we have to find all the zeros of fx which is equal to x power 3 plus 3x square minus 2x minus 6 2 of the zeros that mean the value of x already given to be root 2 and minus root 2 here the highest power is 3 so that means we'll get 3 value for x and y two of them already given we have to find one more so since root 2 and minus root 2 are the zeros of x which mean that we can put it this way x equal root 2 so it is plus if i take the side become minus then here we have minus if you take the side become plus they will be the factors of fx but if i divide one after the other it will take time so in order to make it shortcut we can multiply these two then you can see here we have xx minus plus root 2 root 2 so we can apply the formula a minus b a plus b it will come as a square minus b square so x into x x square root 2 square so square and root 2 get uh, square root get cancelled we are left with 2 so to get the next remaining one we divide fx with x square minus 2 but here we see power x is missing so so that there will be no problem in division we can make it with 0x minus 2 then let's start the division now here we have 1 there 1 so no problem here we have power 2 here we have power 3 so that means we have to multiply with one more x so x into x square we get x3 plus x into x x square 0 remain the same then here we have minus sign then x into 2 will be 2x then we multiply with minus so this part get cancelled 3 minus 0 will become 3 then this is minus it become plus 2 minus 2 become 0 then we bring down 6 here we have power 1 here we have uh, here we have number 1 here we have 3 so 1 into what will be 3 we have to multiply with 3 only that mean then <coughs> x square x square power are same so no need to multiply x so that mean we multiply the divisor by 3 uh, 3 into x square will be 3x square plus 0 into 3 0 x then here we have minus 3 into 2 6 so we multiply it minus so everything becomes 0 so remainder equal 0 so that means f of x we can write it as x minus root 2 x plus root 2 into x plus 3 then 2 value of x will get root 2 and minus root 3 so the next one we can get by putting x plus 3 equal 0 plus 3 if we take the other side become minus 3 so that mean the third zeros of fx it is equal to minus 3 then next we'll move on to number 9 we have fx equal 2x power 4 plus 7x power 3 minus 19x square minus 14x plus 30. Then two of the zeros of fx already given to be root 2 and minus root 2. Uh, here the highest power is 4. So we'll have four values for x. Two of them already given. Two we still have to find. So what to do? We will divide the given polynomial by the given zeros after that we can find the remaining one so we can write it in this way since we have root 2 and minus root 2 are the uh, zeros so that means x equal to root 2 x equal to minus root 2 this is plus if i take the side become minus this is minus if take the side become plus so both of them will be the factors so if you divide one after another it will take time so let's make it shortcut by multiplying both the factors at the same time so if you check here x x same minus plus different in sign root 2 root 2 same so we have same numbers different in sign which mean we can apply the formula 
a minus b a plus b which will come as a square minus b square x square remains same square root 2 square square and square root cancel we are left with 2 so let us divide fx so let us start with division here also the same we have power 2 then power 1 is missing we can fill it with 0 to be easy for us to divide then here we have power 1 sorry coefficient 1 here we have 2 so 1 into what will become 2 1 into 2 we have to multiply with 2 then here we have power 4 here we have power 2 so that means we need 2 more we will multiply the whole of divisor by 2x square 2 into 1 will be 2 x square into x square will be 4 2 into 0 0 we have plus here so we put plus x square into x will be x3 plus into minus minus 2 into 2 4 x square then 2 minus 2 0 7 minus 0 will remain 7 then this is minus new sign will be plus so we have to minus 19 minus 4 will be 15 minus is greater we put minus then we bring down minus 14 here we have 1 here we have 7 so we have to go with 7 here we have power 2 here we have power 3 so we need one more we will multiply the divisor now by 7x 7 into 1 7 x into x square will be x square plus 7 into 0 0 x into x x square then we have minus 7 into 2 14 with x so we multiply again with minus here 7 minus 7 becomes 0 minus 15 minus 0 will be 15 15 is greater so we are left with minus sign then 1 minus 1 plus so 14 minus 14 becomes 0 we bring down 30 here we have minus sign there we have plus sign so we have to multiply with minus here you have power coefficient 1 here you have 15 so 1 into what will be 15 1 into 15 x square x square same so no need to multiply x anymore so we multiply the divisor by minus 15 so minus 15 into x square will be minus 15 x square minus 15 into 0 will be 0 minus into minus will be plus 2 into 15 will be 30 so now we get the remainder equal 0. So now the two factor, the two values of 0 we already get. The other two we can get it from here. Since this one is power 2, we can easily find the split middle term. Uh, those two factors, root 2 and plus root 2, if multiply, we get x square minus 2. So let's forget about this one. We concentrate here. The number present with x square is 2. Then constant term is 15. If I multiply them, 15 into 2, we get 30. So we need to find two numbers. If we multiply them, we get 30. And here we have the sign minus. If we minus them, we will get 7. So what will be those two numbers? 15 into 2, we get 30. But 15 minus 2, it will be 13. So it will not be. Let's find out the other number. We take 30. We can divide by 3, 3 into 10, 30, 10 minus 3 will be 7. So those two numbers which we need to split, they are 10 and 3 because they satisfied both multiply and minus. So this first one, like that is, is in the, because split middle term. So in place of 7, we can put 10 minus 3 whole x. Then this one, then here remove, remove the bracket. 10 into x, 10x, then 3 into x, 3x, then those. So we take common from here, we have 2 here, 10, 2 into 5. So 2 is common, take it out, x square, x, so 1x is outside. <clears throat> there are two x, one we put outside, one will remain inside, then plus, plus. 2 into what will be 10? 2 into 5. Then here we have 3 and 15. So 15 we can divide by 3. 3 into 5. So we take common 3. Here we are left with x minus 2 minus plus 3 into 5. So x plus 5 and 2x minus 3 put in bracket. So the other factors will be by putting 2x minus 3 equals 0. This is minus. Take that side become plus. Then we divide by 2. 
So another value for x is 3 by 2. Then x plus 5 equals 0. So this is plus. Take the other side, it will become minus. So when we, that means the other two values for x, they are 3 and 2 and minus 5. The other two already given, root 2 and minus root 2. So those are the four values for x in this case.